Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the 2023 top 10s as we're going to look at my number 7 welterweight in the world right now at 147 pounds. The undefeated top challenger, top rated contender, um, Giovanni Santia. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, um, Giovanni Santian, uh, busted onto the scene and, uh, this year he wasn't ranked, uh, coming into the year. He's 32 years old. He was an undefeated contender, but hadn't really fought anybody yet. And, um, he got a big opportunity to take on Alexis Rocha, who was the number one ranked contender in the WBO. And, um, you know, I had said that Santian is a guy that you don't want to overlook because he's undefeated. And Santian went out there and beat the shit out of Alexis Rocha. He really did. I mean, he put it on him and knocked him out in the sixth round impressively to, um, you know, to really shoot his, his way up. He also defeated a guy named Eric Bonet back in uh, July, a veteran. He beat him by a 10 round unanimous decision. So, so Santian really set the table up for himself. And by the end of the year, the WBO granted him the number one ranking. He was number five and Alexis Rocha was number one and he dominated the number one fighter. And the WBO has granted him the number one uh, spot in their rankings. Now, what does that mean right now? Well, he's also number four in the IBF. Just wanna throw that out there. That's the second highest ranking. Um, but uh, what I think is going to happen for Santian is I think he's almost for sure going to land a title shot in 2024 because um, Terrence Crawford is going to move on um, out of the division, you know, I, in my opinion. I think he's going to vacate all the belts once the Errol Spence rematch is locked and loaded. They're going to fight at 154. Crawford will give up all the belts. The WBO title will go vacant, and Giovanni Santian is going to fight for it. Um, that's my opinion. He's either going to fight Cody Crowley or whoever's next in line that is willing to fight for the vacant belt. That's that's what I think is going to happen. Now, um, that the small chance that Crawford holds on to the belts um, for the entire year, especially the WBO title, um, maybe they just put him in a true final eliminator for the interim title or something. Um, that's about as much as I see that can go wrong. So I definitely think Santian it earned his opportunity by dominating Alexis Rocha, and he is now sitting there with a title opportunity waiting in the wings for him. So um, I really, really believe he's gonna get a shot at the title. Again, I think it's either gonna be Cody Crowley or whoever is like the next highest rated contender um, in the WB in the WBO, um, which I'm trying to scramble through the WBO's guys right now, and um, I believe, yeah, there's not really a, a guy um, that sticks out at number three. So Cody Crowley's number two, and then again, it just depends on if Crowley will go forward with that, or if he wants to wait around for the winner of Barrios and and Boots Ennis. But honestly, I think Santian's the favorite over Crowley, in my opinion. I think it's a good fight, but I think Santian beats him. If, if I was picking right now, I'd pick Santian. And so that means that I believe Santian's going to be the next WBO champion. But again, depends on who he gets in the ring with for the title. It could not be Cody Crowley. So a lot needs to happen here um, with Crawford, with Terrence Crawford, and, and for Giovanni Santian to get his opportunity. But again, I think he's going to get it, and I think it's going to be it's going to be good uh, later this year. So we'll see what happens, but that's it. That's what I got. That's my um, 2023 top tens on my number on my number seven welterweight in the world right now, the undefeated top contender, Giovanni Santian. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate any and all support that I get as I continue to build my channels here. So this is, this is True Boxing and you've been hit with the truth.